Some people in Maldives have been polluting the minds of Maldivian people. China has played an important, uh, significant role in doing this. It has been generally providing all the assistance to the conservative elements uh, in Maldives. There is an Islamic tilt to their policies. When Maldives was just just became independent in 1965, from then on today till today, there have been some hiccups, all right. But the bilateral relationship, despite the new regime, I think it's a very strong partnership. Whenever uh, such developments happen, uh, and you know, it's, it's, even though you see it as uh, kind of a one-off development. Uh, some people in Maldives have been polluting the minds of Maldivian people. And China has played an important, uh, significant role in doing this. And it has not only doing that, it has been generally providing all the assistance to the conservative elements uh, in Maldives. And uh, the current regime in Maldives is certainly not, I would say, they're, they're perhaps pro-development, but they're also very, very conservative. There is an Islamic tilt to their policies. And, you know, that's why you see that uh, they visited uh, Turkey. Uh, the first visit of uh, President Muizu was to Turkey. And uh, it's very unfortunate that even the second visit was uh, to China. So this is an indication that uh, what the new regime is preferring. But as they settle down, they would realize that with, without India, it's, it's going to be extremely difficult for Maldives to navigate uh, through their domestic issues, through their issues related to climate change, um, you know, day-to-day -day requirements.